Now tens of thousands of veterans return to the valley and live here after their service to our country. It's one organization's goal to make sure they get educational and job opportunities when they return to civilian life. A $300,000 grant is helping that effort. Now Patrick Chalvier has this report. According to the VA Office of the Actuary, an estimated 50,000 veterans call the valley home. Thousands of men and women looking to live a normal life, but for many, just living life can become a challenge because of mental health issues and drug and alcohol problems. If a veteran can come to school, that means he's not home drinking it away and, you know, 22 veterans a day commit suicide. We don't want that. We want veterans to, to come back, fulfill their goals, and, you know, move on. To help the thousands who risked their lives for their country, the Valley Initiative for Development and Advancement has made it their goal to make sure all veterans receive aid and support in any way when their duty is complete. A lot of us here in our office at VIDA have family members who served proudly. So the, the intent was always to put a focus and a dedication to reaching out to our local veterans that are coming home. Recently, the Texas Veterans Commission awarded VITA a $300,000 grant to provide educational and job training for Valley veterans. The money will be used to help veterans and their families with either tuition assistance or books. Um, if they need a transportation allowance, we'll, we'll be able to help with that. The grant is expected to help 54 Valley veterans. Those who've received assistance from VITA only get the help after any and all other benefits have been exhausted many of whom were either at or below the national poverty and unemployment line. It's very, very rewarding to see a veteran start out at one point and end up um, at graduation and finding a good paying job. Our graduates from, the la from last year's veterans grant are earning over $30,000 a year. For those who stood up for their country, the support they've received is one they will always be grateful for. If it wasn't for that alone, I wouldn't be in college plain and simple. Like, there's no way I could have financially afforded it on my own. Thank you for your support. In Mercedes, Patrick Chalvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.